Hello everyone. This is the third lecture for the unit three, representing the idea what you should do for active or effective listening. We shall also discuss the role of attitude in effective listening or active listening or in listening act. How and where. your attitude matters so these three important topics will be covered in the video lecture as you see in the last two preceding video lectures that we discussed listening skills importance of listening skills and uh, how listening skill can develop effective speaking skills in this video lecture if we see the first slide is related to don'ts of effective listening or active listening that means what should we not do if you want to maintain your effective listening first is don't impose while listening don't impose or while it talk with someone do not try to impose a secondary opinion or advice while listening to other talk second is don't interrupt to debate the other don't tell the other third one what he or she should be thinking or feeling of fourth one is don't use a speaker's talk as a take off for your talk fifth is don't let your responses be irritating unless you are intentional to do so and sixth is don't enjoy paraverbal inertia unnecessary so these six don'ts of active listening should be practiced if you want to make your listening skills effective for communication skills let's discuss the first point you have seen sometimes people talk and while talking you start giving suggestions or advice without the demand or without desire intended desire of the speaker and in doing so you start imposing your own opinion somewhere it disturbs the speaker's mind and uh, the intended talk could not happen so message that was being conveyed by the speaker doesn't reach you so while a talk with someone it is suggested not to uh impose a secondary opinion the second point should also be explained for a while people are in habit to interrupt to debate the other unless is it is intended to interrupt the debate like if a, if the talk is a political talk it can be interrupted if it is a specific talk like uh, like uh, some some uh, some judicial talk is there some kind of uh, advocacy is there that is entirely different thing but in academic uh, talk one should not uh, uh, interrupt unnecessary to increase the points of debate right so uh, in doing so you start uh, feeling superior in yourself too okay so this kind of uh, feeling should not be uh, enjoyed while interrupting to increase the debate in a talk don't tell the other the next point as i told you don't tell the other what he or she should be thinking or feeling of it is a very much similar to the first point that unnecessary secondary opinion imposition of secondary opinion giving advice is not good In the same way what how he or she 
should he or she be corrected with the feeling with kind of experience or thinking should not be advised or suggested you collect the ideas of others and then you take off your ideas and then you continue your idea that reflects somewhere that you lack originality you like your own opinion right and it is explicit it seems explicit uh, that you are and your talk uh, depends on the other stock so taking off your talk from others opinion is not a good idea so don't use the speaker speaker's talk as a take off for your talk don't let your responses be irritating unless you are intentional to do so. As I told you that if it is a political talk, no issue. If it is advocating uh, or a litigation talk or legal talk, it is entirely different. If intention is there to irritate someone, is okay. But in academic talk, you cannot. So don't enjoy paraverbal inertia. Paraverbal inertia means uh, if somebody is talking and you are not showing your overt signs. Right. Showing your overt sign means you are showing interest in a talk and it encourages the speaker to involve in that talk with more interest. And in that way, uh, you gather more information from the speaker so these don'ts can be practiced uh, as as principles to uh, improve your listening skills and your uh, communication skills these don'ts are suggestions in negative forms that can help you improve your listening skills. Apart from these uh, negative suggestions, there are other principles that help you improve your listening skills. We will discuss uh, later in the next slide. In the context of don'ts of active or effective listening, we can also discuss the role of attitude of an individual right uh, there is a communication scientist his name is Carl Weber he defined listening as the selection and retention of orally received data here in this uh, definition if you see there are three words which are important selection retention and data received data okay so in the process of selecting and in the process of uh, letting the selected data retained in the mind your desire plays important role means you you try to listen to someone and you try to select the data informative data important data out of that listening and then you decide whether the selected material selected data should be in your mind or not so this uh, approach toward listening is uh, based on uh, psychological principles called principle called uh, selective exposure which is very much related to an individual's uh, attitude and uh, his cultural background okay uh, and uh, it also reflect his interest or her interest in listening someone and if he or she is listening or started listening in what way he or she should listen and with, 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 with what kind of perspective he should listen with what kind of cultural beliefs he should or she should listen and which what kind of attitudes uh, and uh, decisions he or she should listen so selective exposure 
reflects the attitude of an individual towards the data being received okay uh, by the listener here uh, desire or intention plays very important role in this way we can come to a certain conclusion that not listening to someone is an inability to understand it doesn't happen every time so here attitude is dominating an individual attitude means it is well uh, well uh, thought activity of an individual to the speaker that he is speaking or she is speaking to you but you are not ready to receive or if you are ready to receive you are ready to receive with some kind of with some certain principles with some certain uh, ideas with a certain perspectives attitudes and decisions etc so not listening what i'm trying to say is also a kind of ability is a kind of separate and distinct psychological characteristic of an individual not listening is not always an inability of an individual not listening can also be intentional okay not this listening skill refers to controlled listening like what god has given you the ears right and you are compelled to listen someone compelled to hear something and someone right but it is you who decide what to let retain and what not to let retain in your mind and reveal it later so on the basis of this not listening ability communication scientists like weaver have categorized two kinds of listening skills and these categories are based on timings so short time listening they have devised and another is long time listening the communication scientists have justified uh, that short time listening is more effective than the long time listening short time listening is listening with the intention to understand a person in a very quick manner right for example you go to the receptionist in a hotel and uh, in a very short time the receptionist understands your demand and accordingly he or she manages everything right so such kind of communication such kind of listenings where data is received by the listener in a very short while it demands mind and attentiveness of people so short time listening is more effective it reflects your alertness it reflects your smartness it re- it reflects your receptibility the way you receive right and another is long time listening listening with the intention to understand a person and all about the person you know it takes time for example to conduct an interview personal interview professional interview with person right and uh, you interact with someone intending to know his or her background it takes time you cannot understand him okay to administer or to conduct some kind of psychological counseling okay so this kind of uh, communication cannot be possible unless you give time to understand the data long time listening is also effective but for quick responses uh, short time listening seems more effective whereas long time listening uh needs time needs patience needs uh, knowledge and data of the background of the speaker etc and uh, thereafter you come to some kind of conclusion you accordingly responses response the fourth which i added uh and i did not find this anywhere but i added here lifelong listening there are some talk which you do not want to forget throughout your life career and you intend to carry the essence of that talk 
and you want to practice the essence of that talk throughout your life career and you sometimes you are much affected you are much influenced by that talk that you continue that uh, data or that knowledge which you have received in a talk with someone so lifelong listening is a kind of listening which demands intention to understand a person and adopt his adopt the data you received through uh, a talk with that person in your life so lifelong listening requires adoption of the data long time listening uh, refers to understand the person's talk in length short time listening refers to a listening to understand a person in a quick and correct manner this slide is uh, about improving listening in the first slide i explained six don'ts and i called these don'ts as negative suggestions to improve listening skills here there are some certain points that can be utilized as principles to improve listening skills for example i have already talked about overt signs that let the speaker know you are listening the speaker maintain eye contact is very important minimize external distractions there are many things that can distract the uh, listener uh, and uh, that those distractors do not let him reach the data or the message of the speaker turn off your internal conflict in dialogues people are full of internal conflicts sometimes you are very much preoccupied with some some informations related to the subject matters speaker is involved in talking due to that preoccupations you are ready to respond or say react in between the talk so and and these uh, preoccupations or with information preoccupied mind with information somewhere uh, create internal conflict and that disturbs the dialogue respond with interest you should show that you are listening and you are interestingly listening and uh, this can be uh, just only when you are ready to respond to the queries if in case any queries are raised by the speaker in between the talk keep an open mind means be alert be attentive look at the person minimize the external distraction minimize the internal conflict minimize the personal uh, frenzied interests be ready to respond and keep an open mind while listening let people make their point if you are in a public debate if you are in a uh, group discussion so uh, you should uh, respect the opinions of your uh, colleagues or the persons whoever are involved in that in a communication so let them to have their own points of view do not try to impose your point of view Uh, uh on every one participate in conversation through para verbal communication skills the speaker have para verbal means words i told you that without showing your words signs you cannot expose your internal wish that you are a uh, attentive listener cast the context of a talk so unless you understand the context of the talk you are helpless to understand and last but not least be a short term listener means be smart listener in a matter of minute you should understand the context understanding the context means you are a short term listener you are an effective listener you don't take much time to understand something so these 11 points 
can be adopted by you as principles to improve your listening. Thank you very much. Uh, the books which I have referred here as references. Thank you. Stay home, stay learned and stay healthy.